We start tonight with neighbors in Hoover and Vestavia Hills living on edge after a string of burglaries. Welcome in. I'm Jim Dunaway. I'm Sherry Jackson. What's even more frightening is that some of these burglaries happened while homeowners were inside sleeping. CBS 42 News reporter Tim Reed has the story. Authorities are asking residents to keep their doors locked. In each case, burglars are breaking into homes where doors are not locked. Misty Wade lives in the Barkley Square subdivision in Hoover. One week ago, a burglar broke into her house while she and her family of three were sleeping. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's really scary just uh, knowing that somebody was in my house, you know, while I'm in the room next door asleep at three in the morning. It's alarming. There were a total of three burglaries last Wednesday in this neighborhood. The suspect got into each house where doors were not locked and stole cash, purses, cell phones, and iPads. The burglar also broke into several cars. We heard the alarm, uh, the door alarm, when it, when I guess the guy came in at three o'clock and woke up and, you know, searched the house, made sure Chloe was okay in her room and she was still asleep. And we went upstairs and checked everything and was just kind of shaken. Just across the street at the Inverness Green subdivision, it was a similar story. Two homes were burglarized on Saturday, but this time the residents confronted the burglar inside their homes. The suspect ran away and nobody was hurt. These people have the nerve to, you know, they're so brave to come inside a house. So the days of leaving your door unlocked, you know, and going to the store and back are over. Homeowner Joel Maxwell says this is a wake up call. He says folks should be more cautious. But I think it's important to have security systems. And where you have an opportunity to put your cars and automobile, I mean automobiles in your garage, uh, you sh should do that. Police are asking if residents living in these neighborhoods have seen anything suspicious to give them a call. In Hoover, Tim Reed, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.